What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Corey. And I'm Keisha. And we are His and Herbs. We're just some small time, soon to be big time gardeners, growing food in the high desert. In Southern California. That's it. Easy, easy as that. Okay guys, so what we have planned for today is we're going to do a little bit of seed planting. I'm going to be planting some more peppers. And Keisha's tackling some, what are you, what are you, what are you growing? What you got going on? I am going to be doing some tomatoes and a few other things, some herbs, you know, things that you want to start early. I haven't really, I got a whole bunch of them right here before me, so I don't know exactly what I'm doing yet, but I know I'm doing tomatoes and um, lavender, some roselle, and um, a few other things. And I'm going to knock out some Sugar Rush Peach Peppers. Ooh. From hot from that horse, but this is a uh, big creek. Yeah, and then I'm gonna knock out some habaneros because the habanero that I overwintered didn't make it. But it wasn't my, it was my fault. But it was it's not. I got it, one. What? A habanero overwintered. She rooted mm -hmm. a habanero cutting, so we have that. So that's good. But the aphids killed the habanero, um, and it's my fault because I didn't get them off in time. Right. We, are, we also have some Anaheim pepper, Anaheim Ooh, chili peppers. Okay. And we have some cayenne long slim rod, slim red peppers, excuse me. All right, so we're gonna get cayenne. these going. So yeah, yeah. So, and we already have trays of um, early jalapeno and bell pepper, green bell pepper. And so, we also have trays of Roma tomatoes and beef steak. Beef steak. So we already have those going. They, they've been planted for about a week and we're trying to stagger them so that we can kind of have this this thing going to where every week we have some new peppers that's that's coming through. Um, yeah, and we're gonna explain to you why we're staggering them that way, okay? So with that, like I said, we're gonna be planting some peppers, some tomatoes, some herbs, and we're gonna be talking to you guys about what we have come, planned coming up in the first part of the year. All right, y'all, so, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of these peppers in. Um, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna tell you guys right now, like give you an update. That seed collection binder, seed storage binder, this thing, we're loving it. It's so easy, man. It is so easy. Look at that. I'm not even afraid to put it down here by the water. <laughs> it's, it's just been, it's just been wonderful, man. So. I would, I would have highly advise anybody that's having an issue with seed storage, get you one of those. All right, guys. So for anybody that's been watching our channel for any good amount of time, you know where we started. Um, and every year that we grow food, we try to do better and grow more than the year before. We try to beat our own selves. Um, there's a lot of people growing food and, you know, we, we get inspired by pretty much every, everybody that we see growing food, but we want to be, we want to do better than what we did the year before. So that's, that's always our goal. Um, for those of you that know, last year we had a goal to grow 500 onions, right? It's 500 onions. Mm -hmm. Well, this year we stepped it up and if you look behind me right here, the big goal for this year with onions is to grow a thousand. I don't know if y'all can see all these, but these are onion. Okay, I don't want to say it wrong. Either onion sets or onion starts. Either way. Okay. One of those. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pull one out. And it's a thousand of them in here. Um it's 48 in each of these bundles. So and they they say. So they say. It's probably more. It's probably more. Um, I heard there's more, but they look like this. They're not just that little bulb at the bottom. They have the bulb and then they, they're they already, they've already got this, the uh, little bit of the green onion coming out the top. And each bundle is supposed to have 48 in them. And all together we got a thousand. Um, because we really love to challenge ourselves. Um, and with everything going the way that it's going in the world, we want to we want to really push ourselves to be as sufficient, as self-sufficient as possible, right? True that. Like true that. To really live off the land because that's 
that's the way it looks like it's going. Yeah, we, um... Oh, you got my onion under here. Oh, my bad. We, um, like, we enjoy gardening. However, we want to maximize, you know, our output. You know, this, we're not... We're not we, hobby gardeners. We're not, we're not trying to be hobby gardeners. No. We're not doing this for, you know, for sport. We're actually Fun. trying to feed the family and, yeah. like, eat. And help feed other people. Yeah. Um, eat 90, you know, eat 90% or more of what we grow. Absolutely. You know. Uh, versus buying, you know, most of that stuff out. So, and Keisha has learned how to make bread. So now we have a bread tree. <laughs> we have a bread tree. <laughs> you, the, you, you, the bread tree. Oh. <laughs> so she, she know how to make bread. Tree. So that's one less thing that we have to buy. And this is really good, y'all. It's really good. It's really soft. I was like, man, I, I'll take that over store bought bread and over nature's own any day. Yeah, I'm learning so much more being a homesteader. Um, there's so much to learn. And, you know, it looks cute on the outside, you know, because it's presented in this cute little package, but it's work. Yeah. It's, as a matter of fact, it's a lifestyle, guy. It's a lifestyle. Um, but it's rewarding. It's the most rewarding work to me because you're literally, um, your work becomes taking care of your home, taking care of your family, taking care of others. You know, that's what you do day in and day out. And that's just a little personal goal that we're trying to hit for this year. Um, as far as growing. And what she's trying to do uh, a thousand onion sets. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do a hundred pounds of potatoes. So a hundred pounds of potatoes. Just, and, and this is just, I'm like, I'm trying to do a hundred pounds of like russet potatoes. Right? And then maybe a hundred pounds of another potato. So, yeah, like sweet potatoes. So it's not just overall 100 pounds. If I got 100 pounds overall, I would still be happy. But the goal is going to be 100 pounds of russet potatoes. And I don't know, maybe, maybe like 50 or so pounds of the other potatoes or 100 pounds of those too. Not sure yet, but that's what we're aiming for. What we, as far as what we have planned, what's coming down the pipeline for us this year. Um, one, of the, one of the things that we have coming up here first soon is going to be a plant sale. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a plant sale on March 15th. And just so you guys understand where our head was at with, with that, with that. Right. Why March 15th? Uh, yeah, our last frost date is March 31st. Okay, um, me, us, we don't normally put things out until at the like the second week of April. So we'll have we'll start everything, and then the second week of April, that's when we'll actually start transitioning things out to the garden. Um, and the reason for that is because the first week of April, even though our last fall state is the 31st, we can expect a cold snap sometime, you know, in that first week of April. So I'm not, we're not trying to throw stuff out too early and then have it die. And obviously we're not putting every single thing out there. We're going to take half of what we, what we, we're going to take half of what we grow and we're going to transition it or a portion of what we grow and transition it outside. In the event that we do have that cold snap, we lose just what we planted, not the whole, not, not the whole kit caboodle. So the reason why we chose the 15th for the plant sale is that gives the people who buy the plants the starts three weeks. All they have to do is maintain the plant in the home for three weeks, and then they can, if they choose to put them out, you know, mid-April or whatever. They only got three weeks. If they choose to put them out, because a lot of people choose to put stuff out on the first uh, or around the first of May, that's fine too. And the plant will be, still be, you know, a decent enough size for them to, to it won't be out of control. Hopefully, for them to be able to you know, just maintain it at home and then put it into their garden. So we are having that plant sale on March fifteenth. And the plant sale for us, we're doing a lot this year, and it takes a lot of time to to grow in the way that we want to grow. So we figure that 
we can we can just make our financial um, life a part of our homesteading life, right? Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of time to homestead. So I would rather be homesteading full time. So if that's the case, then, you know, if you guys are not already, that's that's a that's a good way to bring more income into your into your home. Because everybody every year, every, I mean, everywhere I look, there is more and more people turning to this way of living. Um, more and more people are excited about growing food and purchasing food from their neighbor. So we should all be prepared and have something to offer, whether we're feeding feeding the homeless and that's a goal, or whether we um, are trading with somebody or whether we are you know, selling some of our fruits and vegetables locally, or even some of our cuttings, um, you know, online on Etsy or whatever. But if you want to be able to donate or get, I mean, not donate, but if you want to be able to have more time homesteading, then you're going to need to um, take it more seriously and grow extra so that you can, you can um, have an income from it as well. Everybody's buying seedlings around the um, start of the season, right? Mm -hmm. And Home Depot and Lowe's, they don't they they only have certain certain varieties that they're selling. So and people are more into different herbs, medicinal herbs, different varieties of um, peppers and tomatoes and things like roselle, one of our one of my favorite things to grow. So it's time to, even if you feel like you want to just grow something that, you know, well, maybe one thing, but you want to grow a lot of it so that you can make an income from it, especially the stay-at-home moms, like that's important. So that's what, that's what we're doing. Not to mention we have seven kids, so we have an army to feed. You know what? We have literally, literally an army to feed, and not just our kids, but just being able to help people, period. All right, so have you planned it already, or are you, you mm -hmm. still getting prepared? Mm -hmm. I am just trying to make sure our minds are packed down enough. Fill yours all the way to the top, or you got some space down there. So what I'm doing for the peppers is, uh, so like we said, we have the plants. <clears throat> like I said, we have the plant sale. So we're not trying to grow a lot of unfamiliar um, varieties. <clears throat> not trying to be all fancy, right? We want to give the people what they want, and a lot of people they they want simplicity. So they want the the regular stuff, like they want the beefsteak tomatoes and cherry tomatoes and stuff like that. They don't want the purple because they may not they, they may have never heard of the purple or uh or the black tomatoes and all that stuff so we're trying to keep it simple but we are trying to add some variety because there are some people out there that that do want variety so exactly but just you gotta balance it right you gotta, have to have to <laughs> so the, so what i'm doing right now you can, I, you, you can see i got one tray but i got four packs of peppers four different pepper varieties that i'm that i'm putting in here this is a 72 cell tray Right, but this, but the tray is divided into quarters with this long, it has a, obviously the one that runs down the middle, but then it has the ones that go east and west or left and right, right here that divide them into four different sections. So what I'm gonna do is each, each section is gonna be a different pepper. So like I said, we're gonna offer some variety, but we, we don't wanna offer, we don't wanna have 72, um, I don't know. Uh, what's evil olive. Evil, uh, evil olive evil tomatoes. Evil olive tomatoes, and people don't know about them. They don't know about them, and they don't buy them. So they're gonna. So we're gonna have twelve. I'm gonna have twelve of the cayenne, twelve of the habanero. Which habanero is more of a um, cayenne and habanero both are more of a um, popular pepper, yeah, especially in California. Yeah, but um, but just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna have. We're gonna have twelve habanero. I mean, not twelve. Eighteen habanero. Eighteen cayenne. 18 of the Sugar Rush Peach and 18 of the Anaheim um, Cherry Anaheim, Pepper. Anaheim, Anaheim. 
the Anaheim to the, oh, what did I say? <laughs> Anaheim? <laughs> I'm you doing it all backwards. You the ham. <laughs> I the ham. <laughs> like, I am weasel. Y'all know about that? But anyway, so it's 18 of the uh, Anaheim chili peppers. So that's that's the idea behind it. That's the goal. That's what, I'm, what we're trying to accomplish here. That's why I have this uh, this one tray for uh, four packs of seeds. So we are preparing early for the season because the season doesn't start when it starts. <laughs> starts before the exactly. pairing starts way before way before and that has been a learning process from us for us in a growing process the more we do this the more we understand this lifestyle and before if it, it it felt really hard um we always say that we um started with a snack garden so we grew enough to snack on and then we went to a lunch garden and then we went to a dinner garden and then we went to a buffet garden. So we just want to keep growing. <laughs> we want, like I said before, we want to just keep growing. All right, what am I going to plant right here in this tray? I don't, I'm always, I get the job done at the end of the day, but I, it's just so many, so many varieties that I just sit here and I'm like, you know what? Oh yeah, so things that we're looking forward to happening this year are, um, we've been going out to the land quite a bit um, and preparing the land, the grounds to plant food on. We've been taking soil out, taking wood chips out and things like that. So we're excited to plant more over there as well. We, every year things, we just grow more and more and more. Um, we have a lot more to do on that land. And at some point, y'all saw um, Leave the World Behind. We're trying to get the place prepared with food, with um, you know everything you need to be to be self-sufficient, to be self-sufficient. So that's our goal. Not not because of that movie, but that movie makes you you know it'll definitely put some um, gas in your tank <laughs> for sure. Some fire up under your behind. Anything else you want to add about the land? Um, we've already started actually um we've we've actually gone out there and put our first started our first row to you need this I do to um start our, our growing out there. Twenty five foot row. Yeah. It's gonna take some work because that stuff out there is it's beach sand. And it's, it's deep. It's, yeah. it's deep. So we have a lot I of work. Saw us. Uh, spinning out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do we have yeah. a video of that? <laughs> they, I didn't put it up there. But yeah, like we tried to drive, we tried to drive up there, and, and we don't have four wheel drive, so the truck was just the tires were just spinning. Hmm. <laughs> so, um, so we have already started, you know, prepping the land. We got to go out there and throw down some more, uh, throw down some more uh, mulch, um, tree tree mulch. What I'm trying to say? Mulch. Yeah. We got to go throw down some more mulch. Um, throw down some more leaves, some more super proof and compost, and try to bring as much um, organic matter to that area as we can. Another thing we want to talk to you guys about, let you guys know about what's, what's coming down the pipe is, so last year we didn't get to make a video about it, but I did put up a short, but it was about us going to the, being um, invited to a farmer's market. So, the, and that was pretty cool. That was fun. We were is, in, is it just me or when you're planting seeds, are you like more, you have more favoritism towards one seed over the other? <laughs> I know you don't. I probably, I don't know, I you, might. Maybe, okay. What well, you mean? Actually, you do. What you mean? I think if you could right now, you'd be planting watermelon seeds. <laughs> I could, I would. I absolutely would. Watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew, all that. She she <laughs> said I took all the fun stuff. <laughs> yeah, you took all the fun stuff. He's, okay. Habanero <clears throat> is done. He's growing sugar cane. Tell me he didn't take all the fun stuff. Sugar cane, watermelon, 
cantaloupe, honeydew, strawberries. <laughs> and I'm left with um, and then, and the then fun stuff. I'm I'm left with tomatoes. Okay. Tomatoes are fun. People love tomato sandwiches. I love tomatoes. So you know, you folks are doing to others as you have them doing to you. <laughs> but okay, he's planting all this stuff, and it's it's cool. I'll work around it. It's it's good. I can just you know, I eat some of his sweet stuff. How about that? But right now, and, I'm, um, I'm, we're a team anyway. But you know, I just wanted I, you know maybe I wanted to cook <laughs> something. I don't know. Uh, right now, I'm doing peppers. Oh my goodness. I probably should have been doing peppers, tomatoes and peppers, but whatever. Um, we're going we're gonna to get this thing done regardless. So, like I was saying, we had uh, we had got invited to a farmer's market last year. And we did it. And it was pretty fun. We enjoyed it. Um, we didn't get to go to... We, we only went to one alley because we had so much family stuff oh pop up. Yeah, we had some very sad things happen. Yeah, we, we, we tried to do it, but it was it wasn't something we could have maintained. So you know, we said we'll try again this year um, if we get invited again. So we do. We as, as it stands right now, we are prepared for the farmers market. We're, We're preparing. preparing. We got about preparing. Yeah. As of now, after tonight, we have about nine trays of about seventy-two um, berries items growing and that's just as of tonight we're we're planning on planting every week that's that's just um like peppers and tomatoes and stuff that's not even including yeah. like potatoes and sweet potatoes oh yeah and oh yeah oh yeah we got yeah we, we have the um our sea potatoes going sweet potatoes growing some of our cuttings from last season yeah, I'm just talking about Trey. So we're preparing ourselves because that's another thing. We got we got ourselves out there with the farmers market, and it it challenged us in a in a positive way, especially because of the goals that we already have for ourselves. So we were we went from growing a snack garden to a lunch garden. To the buffet year was um, us us growing for that that farmers market, and we got we we grew quite a bit. We grew quite a bit. Um, we're trying to be smarter gardeners, growing what we can, taking advantage of each season and not just kind of like starting everything right in spring, which is where, where we started. We're like, okay, it's springtime. Let's, let's go plant some seeds. And then you look around and like everybody else is harvesting food. And you're like, like what? <laughs> why is my stuff still, still looking like it's in the baby stage? I just put, you know what I'm saying? I just put this down and they harvest it. So. in diapers. There's a method to this, guys, and it is taking advantage of whatever season that you're in. Right now, we are in winter, although we're planning for spring. We're, we're in winter, so what do we have outside growing that we that we prepare for in fall? We have our greens, our collard greens. Hence, we got our oh, yeah. broccoli, cauliflower, some onions and garlic. And if I didn't say cabbages, we have that out there now. So each season, you should be doing something to prepare it so that you will have something in each season. Each season looks different. Um, you don't see big orange pumpkins right now. You see big, griefy, big, griefy lean vegetables. <laughs> I, I, I took one of my moves. Right. Big, right. leafy green vegetables growing because that's what grows in the winter you don't have as much sun so your leafy green vegetables lettuces and things like that are going to be growing through the winter so you're always doing something in the season that you're in to prepare for the next season um definitely you know just the mind of a farmer because they always got to be prepared right yeah, you gotta you wanna get the mind of a farmer, especially if you're trying to do what we're trying to do. Thanks. So what what are you planting right now? Cayenne? This is the last no, this is uh Anaheim. Anaheim? The, the I'm the I'm a heen. <laughs> this is the last of the peppers. For I this hope trip. I got one in each of these. If mm. not if not, I probably only missed a few. Alright. Yep, yep. 
but this is so like I was saying like we're, we're like we were saying we are prepping for what's day the January. farmers market wait a second the farmers market okay. but here's the caveat to that here's the caveat to to planning for the farmers market or whatever you want to call it right um we our intentions another reason another another reason for us doing the plant sale is we were actually interested in starting a nursery right mm -hmm. so we kind of trying to get our feet wet with the with the plant sale um we're going to start a nursery and if the nursery does better or does as expected or better then we probably won't do the, the farmer's market because we don't want to bite off more than we can chew. And I, like the farmer's market takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of growing, right? Because you, it's, and then it's every up week, and huh? Setting up and everything. Yeah, the setting up and every week you need to be out there with your produce to sell. That means, you, which is why we're staggering what we're growing so that every week we can have something else new to, to, to present for the plant sale and then possibly for the, um, the, um, farmer's market too if that's if we go that route so that's why we're doing what we're doing but like i said if the, if the plant sale shows us that the nursery business has the potential that we think it has then we might not do the farmer's market because we will be extremely busy with the nurseries because that's the that's going to be the same thing right um speaking of nursery look at this guy i'm so happy about this this is for those of you guys that don't live in California, I'm not sure if these grow on the yes. East Coast or whatever. I'm not sure, but these are, this is a mesquite tree. Yeah. And we have a huge one in our in the front of our yard and we'll put a picture in to show you what that looks like and what this is gonna grow into. But the kind of nursery we wanna grow is obviously a food nursery. Even our trees, we want them to be you know, trees are gonna serve a purpose. Either they're gonna give you shade, they're gonna warm you, they're gonna give you shelter, or they're gonna give you food. And this is the perfect one for all of those. This is the mesquite. You know, they use the mesquite wood chips to barbecue. And this is that. So I got two of these growing in here because last year we decided that we wanted, we're serious about a nursery. So over the, over the fall and winter, we started some, a few trees and it's just, amazing to see the stage that they are right now mm -hmm. and i have we have like six more of these growing over there so like corey was saying about the nursery we're really into this and if it does what we what we think it's going to do then we don't want to spread ourselves too thin with the um with the farmer's market. With the farmer's market. And the nursery. And the nursery. And our own garden. And our own and then some other stuff that we, you know. Got planned. Got that planned. we got planned that's coming up later in the year. So those the things that we just talked about are things that's happening now, basically in the first the first couple of months of the year. Um well the farmers market normally last year it started in March, April? May. Was it May? I think it was May May twenty first or something. Somewhere it was there. fun and it's gonna um we love to see stuff like that and to support stuff like that because we understand where things are going so being a part of it is just beautiful thanks so yeah all right so i'm all done over here <laughs> i've done these peppers and the thing about it is next week we're gonna do it again you know i'm, I'm we're gonna plant some more peppers some more bell peppers some more um jalapenos and habaneros and every week we're gonna just keep these things staggered um without without doing too much the plant as far as the plant sale we're trying to do it we're trying to do it for a, a few weeks to see how it works out and then we probably just call it from there just because we don't we really don't have the setup to keep things going like for a long period of time we would have to get everything sold or, or do whatever it is we're going to do with the stuff and then um throttle back and wait for like the fall to do it again 
So, um, because we don't have the space, we don't have the shelf space and the racks and everything set up, the lights, we don't have Wait, all to that do stuff. What? To keep things going, like basically all throughout the grow season, to keep fresh um, plant starts coming out. <clears throat> because we still have to have space for what we want to grow in our own garden. And on the land. And on the land. So, like we, we're trying to nibble at this thing a little bit to try to see what we can do. Well, so we need to build a greenhouse so that will that can help yeah. for all things that we've been just discussing. Exactly. So, so yeah, guys, that's it for that's what we got coming up this year uh, for the first part of the year for the next few months. The plant sale, growing on the land, um, the nursery, and or the farmers market. <clears throat> And um, we've, we've been busy at it. Um, and as we move along, we're gonna show you guys as how, we, how we're preparing for each thing. And you guys, you, you guys know this. Like, just hit the, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for the notifications because we're gonna keep pumping out these videos because we're growing uh, in, in the gut. Literally, we're growing <laughs> and then we're growing um, mentally as well as far as you know, understanding what our capabilities are and trying to get everything done. So, um, yeah, we got some peppers planted. We got some tomatoes planted. Keisha's going to throw in some herbs, herbs and yep. got some echinacea mm -hmm. going in right now. We're going to do some holy basil next. Some holy basil and all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so everything's growing and so far so good. Everything's looking good. We hope that, it, that you guys are having um, much fun planting your stuff right now. Uh, now it's the time to grow peppers. If you if you are new to gardening and you don't stumble across our channel, now is the time to plant your peppers, your tomatoes, because your peppers definitely take a while for them to germinate. Um, there's a lot of things that actually take. I was surprised. I forgot what it was, what it was I was looking at, but it said it can take. Uh, oh, like strawberries, they can take uh, like three months to germinate. Germin yeah. And I'm like, yo, like. That's why I gave up on trying to grow strawberries from seed because I thought I did something wrong. I didn't, everything's not the same. So I hope that you guys are having fun growing, starting your seeds and starting everything that you want to grow. And we, we know that you guys are going to have an outstanding growth season. Absolutely. Yeah, so with that being said, guys, we appreciate y'all for watching and we will see y'all in the next video. Keep growing and keep going. All right, keep growing and keep going. Mm -hmm. Love y'all. Peace out.